The team of human scholars arrived on Zaltron 9 amidst a flurry of media attention and academic anticipation. As their spacecraft descended into the atmosphere, each scholar peered out at the sprawling university complex that would be their home for the next academic year. The architecture was a fascinating blend of Zaltronian aesthetics, with structures that spiraled elegantly into the sky, harmoniously integrated with the natural landscape. Upon landing, they were greeted by Professor Tilne, a renowned Zaltronian academic, who would act as their liaison. His warm welcome was broadcasted across the campus, giving the human scholars their first taste of celebrity on an alien planet. Welcome, esteemed scholars from Earth, Tilne announced, his voice echoing through the translator device each human war. Your presence here marks a monumental step in Zaltron 9's commitment to fostering interstellar academic exchange. We are eager to learn from you and hope you find your time enriching here. The orientation session was held in the Great Hall, a massive auditorium that could seat thousands. The scholars were introduced to the university's code of conduct, teaching protocols, and the expectations of them as visiting faculty. They were also given a brief on the local customs to ensure respectful integration into daily life on Zaltron 9. Each scholar received a schedule packed with introductory classes they would attend, meet and greets with other faculty members, and a tour of the campus facilities. They were particularly impressed by the advanced laboratories and the library that housed millennia of knowledge, including extensive data on alien civilizations across the galaxy. As the orientation wrapped up, the scholars felt a mixture of excitement and nervousness. They were pioneers on a new frontier of education and cultural exchange. The real work would begin tomorrow with their first classes, where they would meet their alien students for the first time. The scholars knew they had a unique opportunity not just to teach, but to learn and grow in ways they had never imagined before coming to Zaltron 9. The first day of classes arrived, and the human scholars approached their respective lecture halls with a mix of anticipation and trepidation. As they walked through the corridors, they noted the curious glances from alien students, a mix of intrigue and skepticism in their eyes. Each scholar was determined to make a strong first impression, aware that they were not only representing themselves, but Earth as well. Professor Martin, a philosopher with a keen interest in ethics and human behavior, was the first to start. He entered a classroom filled with students from various species, each with unique physical characteristics that reflected the diverse conditions of their home worlds. The room buzzed with low murmurs as Martin set up his presentation, a comprehensive overview of Earth's philosophical traditions. Good morning, everyone, Martin began, his voice steady. Today, we embark on a journey through the philosophical landscapes of Earth. We will explore questions that have puzzled humanity for centuries and see how these might resonate or differ from your own cultures. The students listened intently, engaging with the material through their translators. They posed challenging questions, forcing Martin to think about Earth's philosophies in ways he hadn't before. It was a robust exchange, one that ended with applause and thoughtful faces among the students. Meanwhile, Dr. Susan Lee, an environmental scientist, prepared her lecture on Earth's unique ecosystems and the challenges of preserving biodiversity. Her class was equally mixed, with students whose planets ranged from ice-covered moons to lush, tropical worlds. As we examine Earth's environmental strategies, Lee explained, we'll look for parallels and contrasts with your practices. The goal here is not just to share knowledge, but to foster a collaborative approach to universal environmental issues. Her lecture sparked a lively discussion about climate control technologies and sustainable practices. Students shared insights from their worlds, leading to a rich dialogue about possible interplanetary cooperation. Across campus, Dr. James Holden, a specialist in artificial intelligence, introduced his alien students to human advancements in machine learning and robotics. His practical demonstrations, including a small robot that interacted with the students, were met with enthusiasm and a flurry of questions about the ethical implications of AI. AI can be a tool for great advancement, Holden noted, but it must be used with careful consideration of ethical boundaries, which might look different across cultures. The day concluded with the scholars meeting back at their quarters, each buzzing with stories from their first day. They shared their experiences, surprised and encouraged by the depth of interaction and the eagerness of their students to bridge the gap between their worlds. It was clear that this exchange would be as enlightening for them as it was for their Zaltronian counterparts. As they prepared for the next day, they felt more confident, inspired by the initial connections they had made and the potential for meaningful collaboration ahead. The cultural exchange deepened as the semester progressed, with the human scholars not only teaching, but also participating in various Zaltronian social and cultural events.
This immersion into the local customs provided them with valuable insights into their students' backgrounds, which in turn enriched their teaching approaches and classroom interactions. One of the highlights was the Festival of Lights, a significant Zaltronian celebration that marked the beginning of the Galactic New Year. The scholars were invited to participate in the festival, which involved elaborate light displays, traditional music, and dance performances that told stories of Zaltronian history and mythology. Professor Martin, along with Dr. Lee and Dr. Holden, attended the festival wearing traditional Zaltronian robes gifted to them by the university. The event was a dazzling display of unity and cultural pride, with thousands of Zaltronians gathering in the main square. The scholars were deeply moved by the ceremonial lighting of the Star Lantern, which symbolized the shared light of knowledge that spans across galaxies. During the event, the scholars had the opportunity to interact with their students in a more informal setting, learning about their families, their aspirations, and their views on the universe. These conversations revealed the commonalities and differences in their worldviews, further breaking down barriers and fostering a mutual respect. Back in the classroom, the scholars used these experiences to tailor their lessons more closely to the interests and cultural contexts of their students. Professor Martin incorporated Zaltronian philosophical concepts into his discussions, making comparisons that were both thought-provoking and respectful. Dr. Lee organized a collaborative project where students could propose solutions to real-world environmental issues, using examples from both Earth and their home planets. Dr. Holden arranged for his students to visit his temporary lab, where they could interact with the latest human-made robots. This hands-on experience sparked a keen interest in the potential for human robotic technology to be adapted for use in Zaltronian society. As the semester continued, the bond between the scholars and the university community grew stronger. They were often invited to speak at other departments and participate in debates and panels. Their presence on campus had become a bridge, linking not only two species but also a plethora of ideas that had the potential to influence both worlds for generations to come. This blending of academic and cultural learning was proving to be a powerful tool in building lasting relationships, and each scholar felt a profound sense of accomplishment and connection to their new Zaltronian colleagues and friends. The academic collaboration took a significant leap forward as the human scholars and their Zaltronian counterparts initiated joint research projects. These projects not only aimed to integrate human and alien technologies, but also to address some of the universal challenges faced by both communities. Professor Martin, alongside a team of Zaltronian philosophers and ethicists, embarked on a comparative study of moral frameworks. Their goal was to create a universal ethics guideline that could be applied in a variety of interstellar scenarios, such as first contact protocols, trade negotiations, and the treatment of sentient machines. The discussions were intense and intellectually rigorous, often stretching into the late hours of the night, fueled by mutual respect and the excitement of uncharted academic territory. Dr. Lee's collaboration involved partnering with Zaltronian environmental scientists to tackle the pervasive issue of habitat destruction, which affected many planets within the Zaltronian sphere of influence. Together, they developed a model for ecological restoration that combined Earth's terrestrial restoration techniques with Zaltronian bioengineering advancements. This model was piloted on a nearby moon that had suffered ecological collapse due to mining. The project not only showed promising results, but also set the stage for its application on larger, more biodiverse planets. Meanwhile, Dr. Holden worked closely with Zaltronian engineers to adapt human AI systems for use in Zaltronian infrastructure. The focus was on creating adaptable AI that could manage the vast and varied environments of Zaltron 9, from its bustling urban centers to its remote outposts. This collaboration led to the development of an AI overseer capable of real-time environmental and structural adjustments, a breakthrough that promised to revolutionize urban planning across the galaxy. Each project was documented and prepared for presentation at the upcoming Galactic Academic Symposium, a prestigious event attended by scholars from hundreds of planetary systems. The anticipation of showcasing their collaborative efforts added an extra layer of excitement and urgency to their work. As the projects progressed, the scholars continued to weave their newfound understanding of Zaltronian culture into their research. This cross-cultural integration not only enhanced the depth and applicability of their work, but also strengthened the bonds between the Earth representatives and the Zaltronian academic community. The success of these projects was a testament to the potential of interstellar academic partnerships. It highlighted the benefits of diverse perspectives and expertise coming together to solve complex problems. For the human scholars, this experience was shaping up to be the pinnacle of their careers, 
a unique opportunity to impact the wider galactic community while promoting human capabilities and fostering deep intergalactic relations. As the semester continued to unfold, the challenges of blending human and Zaltronian academic perspectives became apparent, particularly in the classroom. Despite the initial enthusiasm, differences in thinking, communication styles, and educational expectations led to moments of confusion and frustration among students and scholars alike. Professor Martin faced these challenges in his philosophy classes. He noticed a divide in how students processed ethical dilemmas involving AI and biotechnology, subjects that, on Earth, often drew clear lines between opposing viewpoints. Zaltronian students, with their diverse cultural backgrounds and advanced technological integration, approached these issues from angles that Martin hadn't considered. To address these gaps, he organized a series of debates, encouraging students to articulate their positions and underlying assumptions. This exercise not only fostered understanding, but also refined critical thinking skills across the board. Dr. Lee encountered her own set of challenges in environmental science classes. Zaltronian students were accustomed to direct application and technological solutions, whereas Dr. Lee emphasized theoretical underpinnings and holistic approaches. To bridge this gap, she introduced hands-on projects that required students to apply theoretical knowledge to practical situations, such as designing sustainable ecosystems on simulated planets. These projects helped students appreciate the importance of foundational knowledge while allowing them to engage creatively with the material. Dr. Holden's AI and robotics courses also faced hurdles. His human-centric examples sometimes failed to resonate with students who were unfamiliar with Earth-specific challenges and technological evolution. To enhance engagement, Holden invited guest lecturers from Zaltron 9's leading tech firms to discuss applications of AI in various alien environments. This approach not only enriched the curriculum, but also provided students with real-world contexts that were more relatable. Amid these academic challenges, the scholars also prepared for the Galactic Academic Symposium. This event was crucial for them to showcase the success of their teaching methods and collaborative projects. The preparation involved refining their presentations to appeal to a broad interstellar audience, incorporating feedback from their students and colleagues to ensure clarity and impact. The symposium turned out to be a vibrant forum for exchange, with academics from numerous planetary systems presenting their research. The human scholars' presentations were well-received, sparking interest and lively discussion among attendees. Their work on universal ethics guidelines, ecological restoration models, and adaptive AI systems drew particular attention, highlighting the innovative contributions of their collaborative efforts. This chapter of their journey not only underscored the complexities of intercultural education, but also demonstrated the vast potential for mutual growth and understanding when diverse minds work together. The human scholars had not only imparted knowledge, but had also gained invaluable insights into the intricacies of interstellar academic and cultural integration. As the semester drew closer to its end, the human scholars' participation in the Galactic Academic Symposium had cemented their reputation and the success of their collaborative efforts. They now turned their focus back to the university to finalize their projects and prepare their students for the end-of-semester assessments. Professor Martin, Dr. Lee, and Dr. Holden were particularly interested in how their teaching and research would leave a lasting impact. They began to organize a series of capstone projects for their students, designed to synthesize the knowledge they had gained over the semester into practical, innovative outcomes that could benefit both human and Zaltronian societies. Professor Martin facilitated a workshop where students developed ethical frameworks that could be applied to both human and alien contexts. These frameworks were to be published in an intergalactic journal, establishing a foundational text for future ethical considerations in a multi-species galaxy. The students, under Martin's guidance, tackled complex issues such as AI rights, genetic modifications, and the ethics of space colonization. Dr. Lee's environmental science class embarked on a field project to rehabilitate a local damaged ecosystem. This project not only applied their classroom knowledge, but also served as a model for similar efforts on other planets. The project was a hands-on experience in managing biodiversity, ecological balance, and technological intervention, providing real-world skills and immediate environmental impact. Meanwhile, Dr. Holden led his students in developing a prototype for a universally accessible AI assistant designed to adapt to various planetary environments and technological standards. This assistant would help in daily tasks, emergency protocols, and facilitate smoother interactions between different species through advanced communication algorithms. The prototype was to be presented to a panel of investors and tech companies at the semester's close with the potential for widespread adoption. 
The scholars also participated in reflective sessions with their students, discussing what had been learned and how these lessons could be applied beyond the university walls. These discussions were eye-opening for both students and professors, as they explored the broader implications of their academic and cultural exchange. The capstone projects culminated in a university-wide showcase, attended by academic dignitaries, students, and media from across the galaxy. The event was a testament to the productive and transformative power of the exchange program. Each project demonstrated a unique blend of human innovation and Zoltronian technology, highlighting the potential of such collaborations in addressing galactic-scale challenges. The showcase not only marked the conclusion of the Human Scholars' teaching tenure, but also set the stage for continued cooperation between Earth and Zaltron 9. Proposals for new exchange programs, research initiatives, and intercultural events were discussed, laying the groundwork for a sustained partnership. As the scholars prepared for their departure, they reflected on their experiences with a mix of satisfaction and nostalgia. They had not only imparted knowledge, but had also grown personally and professionally, forever changed by their interstellar teaching journey. The legacy of their work, they hoped, would inspire future generations to continue exploring, learning, and collaborating across the stars. As the academic year drew to a close, the human scholars began to wrap up their courses and finalize their research, preparing to return to Earth. The end-of-semester assessments were a testament to how much the students had absorbed, showcasing their newfound understanding of human perspectives and interdisciplinary approaches. Professor Martin oversaw the final debates in his philosophy class, where students presented their thoughts on universal ethics. The quality of discourse was impressive, reflecting deep engagement with the material and a nuanced understanding of complex issues that affected multiple species. This final session ended with heartfelt applause from everyone, acknowledging the intellectual growth that had taken place. Dr. Lee's environmental science class presented their project results, which demonstrated significant ecological recovery on the pilot moon. The success of this project earned her students an invitation to participate in a larger galactic initiative aimed at ecological restoration across multiple planets. Dr. Lee felt a profound sense of pride in her students' achievements and their impact on real-world environmental challenges. Dr. Holden's AI class showcased their prototype AI assistant at a technology exposition that drew a large crowd, including potential investors and developers from various parts of the galaxy. The prototype was well-received, with several companies expressing interest in collaborating to bring the technology to market. This success was a highlight of Holden's career, showcasing his ability to guide students in creating something truly innovative and practical. In the final week, a farewell ceremony was organized by the university. It was a grand event, attended by faculty, students, and local dignitaries. Speeches were given by both human and Zaltronian leaders, praising the success of the exchange program and the bridges it had built between the two cultures. The human scholars each gave a short speech, sharing their gratitude and the valuable lessons they would take back to Earth. The ceremony also served as a platform for announcing the continuation of the exchange program, with new scholars from Earth scheduled to arrive the following year. Additionally, several Zaltronian students were awarded scholarships to study on Earth, further strengthening the interstellar academic and cultural bonds. As the event concluded, the scholars and their students shared personal goodbyes, exchanging contact information and promises to keep in touch. The bonds formed during the year were strong, and many planned to continue collaborating on research projects and cultural exchanges. Packing up though on their belongings and boarding the spacecraft back to Earth, the scholars were introspective. They felt a mix of sadness at leaving and excitement about sharing their experiences with their colleagues and students back home. The journey back to Earth was a time of reflection on the immense personal and professional growth they had experienced and the profound impact they had made on their students' lives. The scholars' time on Zaltron 9 had ended, but the legacy of their work and the continuous flow of ideas and friendship between Earth and Zaltron 9 would endure, inspiring future generations to reach for the stars and embrace the vast diversity of the galaxy. Upon their return to Earth, the human scholars were met with enthusiasm and curiosity. Universities, research institutions, and cultural organizations were eager to hear about their experiences and insights from their time on Zaltron 9. The scholars organized a series of lectures and seminars where they shared their adventures, the challenges they overcame, and the unique opportunities they had encountered in an alien academic environment. Professor Martin, Dr. Lee, and Dr. Holden each took to different platforms to discuss their respective fields of study and the integration of human and Zaltronian knowledge. They spoke at international conferences, participated in educational broadcasts, and contributed articles to prominent academic journals, sparking a widespread interest in interstellar studies. 
Professor Martin's talks on universal ethics and the philosophical exchanges between humans and aliens drew large audiences, leading to the development of a new interdisciplinary course at his university. This course was designed to explore ethical issues across species, preparing future leaders to navigate the complexities of a multi-species galaxy. Dr. Lee's success with the Ecological Restoration Projects inspired environmental science departments to adopt a more universal perspective on ecological management. Her experiences led to the establishment of a collaborative research program focused on applying lessons from alien planets to Earth's environmental challenges. Dr. Holden, buoyed by the success of the AI Assistant Project, secured funding to establish a new research lab dedicated to the development of adaptive AI technologies for use in diverse environments. His work attracted interest from technology companies and governments alike, eager to explore the potential applications of such technology. The impact of their exchange went beyond academia. Public interest in extraterrestrial cultures and interstellar collaboration grew, leading to cultural exhibitions, public discussions, and increased support for space exploration initiatives. The scholars' stories and their tangible achievements served as powerful testaments to the benefits of such exchanges. Recognizing the value of these intercultural academic programs, the Earth-based universities started to formalize long-term partnerships with Zaltron 9 and other alien institutions. These agreements included student and faculty exchanges, joint research initiatives, and shared resources, laying the groundwork for a lasting academic and cultural bridge between Earth and the broader galaxy. As the scholars settled back into their lives on Earth, they continued to correspond with their colleagues and students from Zaltron 9. They organized joint virtual classes, co-authored papers, and planned future symposiums. The relationships they had formed transcended the academic realm, evolving into lifelong friendships and ongoing collaborations. Reflecting on their journey, the scholars recognized that their time on Zaltron 9 was just the beginning. They had not only contributed to their fields, but had also been pioneers in a new era of human-alien relations. Their experiences had opened doors for others to follow, ensuring that the exchange of knowledge and culture between Earth and the stars would continue to flourish, benefiting current and future generations alike. This enduring legacy was perhaps their most significant achievement, a true testament to the power of curiosity, openness, and mutual respect in forging paths to a shared future.